Hello everybody, this is Dave Matuzic from MacDeck Engineering and I'm going to show you how I intend to use SpaceClean to prepare a model for machining inside of Mastercam. So you can see here I have Mastercam open and my customer sent me a step file that will open a Mastercam and I also have open down here is SpaceClean 2014. And I'm going to show you how they seamlessly integrate into each other. So let's open up that step file. Find that on my desktop. Make sure it's set to step and open that up. And one thing the person who drew this file did is they drew in, as you'll see here in a second, the nuts and bolts as part of that solid. And I need to take those out before I do any turn profiles to be able to machine this. Now there's ways to do that at Mastercam, but I have a add-on in here to integrate myself with SpaceClaim. So I'm just going to hit my SpaceClaim integration button here. And you'll see it came right into space claim. And I'm going to remove the features I don't want. And actually, a quick, easy way to do this is I'm just going to grab that diameter and pull it right through the model. And it'll put a hole in of that size. So I'll just grab the other faces, pull them through. And we'll pull that through there. You'll notice it created several solids on those nuts. So I'm just going to leave those solids that I don't need. I don't need those nuts anymore. I can take them right off. And I have holes right in the model that I can machine. But, you know, if you look at the back side, there's some spots I missed. So I'm just going to rotate this around. And I didn't pull that all the way through. So not a big deal. I can just grab the face on the inner side and, again, pull it right through. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pull it through pull it through, and then delete those extra nuts there. Okay, so there we go. That model's ready to be machined inside my Mastercam software. So I'm just going to go back to Mastercam. And you know what, I'm actually going to clear out that and bring that model right in from SpaceClaim, loads right in. So you can see here the model that um, has come from Space Claim. And what if there was some work already done to this, like a machining a casting, for example. And most of the shape's already there. All I need to do is cut the holes in it, the slots, and perhaps the outside uh, grooves there. So I want to come in and I want to remove some features here. So let's take a look here. I want to take out um, that and all these glue roofs through here and use that as a stock model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new level. Let me name the old one here so we know what it is in case I ever have to come back to this later. And make a new level. We call it stock. And we're good. And actually, you know, let me turn off that first level and let's go back to our space claim. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to take out some features here. So the first features I'm going to take out are these holes. I'm just going to fill them in and it just removes that face. So that hole is gone. And now let me come in and let me remove this feature here. And let me actually rotate that. Let me grab a, there we go. Let's grab multiple faces all at once and fill that in. Quick, easy, simple, just like that. And let me come in here and I'm actually going to fill these in and then we'll take a look at another feature in a second. And so those are filled in now and I'm going to fill in the the uh, V grooves that we got to cut into this pulley here. So I'm going to come in and we'll zoom in on the side there and take these V grooves out. Real simple to do. I can do them one at a time or as a multiple selection. You'll see that here in a second. So, I'm going to fill in. I'm going to grab what I want to fill. Oops, there we go. Or I can do them all at once. So, let's grab a couple here at once. We'll do the rest of them. There's no history tree in space claim. That's what allows me to do this. I can just come in and remove and change faces 
as I go. So you see what we have there? So there's my stock model. Let's bring that into Mastercam. I'm pretty confident that's what my stock looks like out of that casting, and I'm just going to put um, book, machine those details in. So let's bring that into Mastercam now. And I'll just bring my hit my space plane button here. All right, and now um, let me turn the other level on here. So you can see it's on one level here. We'll turn this level on. Both solids are on. I'm just going to do a quick master cam up here to kind of move things around my screen, get them in position for machining. And now, load my machine type. A little lathe in here because I want to turn this. And I'm going to use that solid here that I made the stock out of as my solid model. So I'll just grab that. Good. I'm going to turn that level off because I don't need that level anymore. So we're just going to turn off my casting level here. We'll clear our colors out. Now I'm just going to show you a real quick toolpath on this to toolpath this. And I'll just cut that groove using that solid model. Go to groove. Just chain from there to there. And grab a tool. And I'm not worried about any settings here because we're just demoing here. And I cut that groove and you can see here that it's going to use the uh, stock model that we made as our turning there. And there we go. I uh, just was able to use Spaceplane to very quickly prepare a model for machining with both the actual model and the actual uh, stock. Doing that right out of Spaceplane there. So if you have any questions, um, give us a call or send us an email, 860-749-5544. Or email us sales at macdac.com. Thank you and have a great day.